equal skills. Module 7.4 Attaching files to email messages There are a number of things you should consider when sending attachments to other users. File compatibility The recipient of an attachment must have a program that's capable of opening the file. For example, if you send someone a Microsoft Word document, they must have either Microsoft Word on their computer or a program that can open Word files. File size you need to be aware of the size of the attachment you're sending, especially if you know the recipient uses a modem to connect. Since modems have the slowest connection speed, they'll take the longest to download any file and may cost more. Security. When sending and receiving attachments or downloading any file from the internet, you should be aware of the risk of virus infection. A virus is a harmful program that infects your computer and can damage or corrupt your files. Most email providers now automatically check attachments for viruses before allowing you to download them. However, you should make sure you have an up-to-date virus protection program Attaching on your files computer. Attaching to email messages. Address the message as before, including the recipient's address and the message subject. A file can be attached by clicking the Attach button. This may be represented by a paperclip icon. A dialog box opens and you can navigate to the location of the file to be sent. Double click on the required file. It now appears in the attach field of the email. Once the message has been written and the send button clicked, the file will be sent as an attachment to the email.